So a couple more things about these K-Packs. This is what the one shader to rule material setup looks like. You can edit the texture by going in tab, tabbing in and adding a new texture. They're all packed here, so you'll have to unpack them right there. And you just click this button, unpack to a directory there, and then you can load in a new texture by clicking this button here. And it uses that one texture in all three of these nodes. And there's a whole video on how to use the one shader to rule, and it's included with this product. So I suggest you take a look at that. One of the important things also that we have is we have these K-Packs that have these little X's after their name. So let's go ahead and, for instance, take a carbon fiber one, and we'll hold the Control T down and add it to this. And you'll notice that this is a different type of one shader to rule. We ca I call this X for Excalibur, and this has actually the ability to add your own normal maps and your own roughness maps. And that's done simply by just tabbing into it. And sometimes that's important, especially with hard geometry kinds of textures, because the EV bump mapping will not process a hard line texture, a geometric pattern, as well as it will a normal map. So for a few of these, and you'll see them all, they'll have an X after them, the Excalibur materials, they will be a little bit heavier in terms of having more materials. So unlike the one shader to rule them all, where we have one texture per material, these have two or three textures per material.